Hello and welcome to my to my review of the Orcs Burner Boys. Now this box set will set you back £20. It's a multi-part box set um, whereby you've got a choice of making either four Burner Boys or four Looters as well as an Orc mech um, with a custom Mega Blaster. Um, so yeah, you can choose to, to build these like I have, the Burners, or uh, for looters. The best tip I can give you really is to uh, buy a box of orc boys along with one of these uh, kits and then you can also build uh, the four looters and you've still got another five orc boys that you could just add to your, your orc force. Um, the format as always we're going to have a closer look at uh, the detail on these miniatures. I won't be able to show you the spare parts because I've used them for the looters. We'll go through some size comparisons and finally we'll discuss the rules. So um, let's start off with the elephant in the room, or should I say the spanner, uh, right here with the custom blaster. Um, my lighting is a bit odd this evening. There we go, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Um, so yeah, here's the spanner with the uh, custom mega blaster. Uh, looks quite nice. He's got a big uh, adjustable wrench in the back. Um, it's got a crazy looking head with um, like an energy coil. There's his weapon. Um, with these, I haven't worried about the mold lines, so I'll probably do them at a later date. I wanted to get this uh, review out to you quickly, but that's the spanner. Don't leave home without one. It would be it would have been great if uh, all five of them could have the the burners, but it is what it is. Anyway, uh, these are the the four. Uh, this one's got a, a stogie. <laughs> Um, they're funky looking, I, I don't think uh, they kind of work with these straps, but I guess they needed them, um, you know, uh, I, I can't think of another way they could have done that. They've all got their fuel uh, canisters, this one's got some spikes on there, uh, this one here, uh, again, got some spikes, um, he's got like a, some kind of face mask and gas mask thing going on. Oh, this one here, it's got the... Uh, Blast shield uh, open. Um, I'm not sure why, but there we go. And then finally this one. Uh, got the goggles, got the face mask, or some kind of cloth there. It's got this um, little extra bit. Got the tip of the weapon uh, open, upright. Let's go through some size comparisons. Uh, so I'll put my knob on the table. It's right here. Um, the knob is, is bigger. It's on the bigger base as well. I think this kit does come with the 32mm bases now anyway. Uh, so um, the bases would be about the same size as this actually. Uh, the ones that would come with it. I got this set as an old kit. Um, so that's why I've got the smaller 25mm bases. But um, yeah, they're a bit shorter than all. They're a bit shorter than knobs, um, but they've got a bit of a presence because of their big uh, burner weapons. If we just compare them to like a war boss, a war boss is going to stand pretty tall uh, near them. And orc boy wise, uh, they are similar height to the orc boy, but again, the, the weapon part of it gives them so much more presence. Uh, and uh, we've also got a little Gretchen too, it gives you some kind of idea. Uh, the last size comparison I always like to make is just with a Legacy Space Marine, uh, Slime Marbo, and Primaris. So compared to a normal Space Marine, they are a bit shorter, even with their weapon on the back, compared to uh, Astra Militarum. Um, they're a little bit more hunched down, a little bit shorter, and yeah, compared to the Primaris, they look tiny, don't they, nowadays, compared to these big, big old Space Marines. So we've uh, burnt our way through most of the, the video now, and now you get to sit back and relax and bathe in the warm glow of uh, the rules uh, for these burner boys. You'll find them in your elite section of your orc codex. There are power points cost of a three and a points cost of 12 points per model. Their movement speed is five inches, weapon skill three plus, ballistic skill five plus, strength four, toughness four, one wound, two attacks, leadership six, and a save of six plus. For every five models in the unit, a spanner can take the place of one burner boy, and the spanner's uh, profile is exactly the same. There's no changes whatsoever in terms of leadership. The, it, the spanner's profile is the same. 
The unit contains five burner boys. It can include up to five additional burner boys for power rating a plus three or up to 10 additional burner boys for power rating a plus six. For every five models in the unit, a spanner can take the place of one burner boy. Each burner boy is armed with a burner and stick bombs. Each spanner is armed with stick bombs and either a custom mega blaster, big shooter or rocket launcher. So you can have 15 of these in a unit and you don't necessarily have to have that spanner if you don't want to. So if you've got another box set of these, you could have eight in a unit. So the big shooter works as normal. It's a 36 inch range, assault three, strength five, AP zero, and a damage of one. But the main reason why you're gonna get these is for the burner. It's an eight inch range, assault D3, strength four, AP zero, and a damage of one. Before the unit fires the weapon, roll once for the number of attacks and use this for all burners fired by the unit until the end of the phase. This weapon automatically hits its target. So you roll one D3, and if you get a three, then of course you'll times that by the number of boys. Um, so that would be 12 shots. The custom Mega Blaster, which the spanner can be equipped with, is a 24 inch range, assault one, strength eight, AP minus three, and a damage of D6. If you roll one or more unmodified hit rolls of one, the bearer suffers one mortal wound after all of this weapon's attacks have been resolved. So it's a bit like plasma that it'll um, possibly wound the bearer. Rocket launcher works as normal. It's a 24 inch range, assault one, strength eight, AP minus two, and a damage of three. Now the burner also have, has another profile, uh, the melee profile, which is strength of the user, which is four, AP is minus two, and a damage of one. That's not the best. I remember when they were first introduced and the, and the burner itself was AP of three, which meant it could just melt through um, Space Marine's power armor. And that was the main reason why you get them in uh, combat. For the ranged attack though, it's just like a flamer. Stick bombs work as normal again. So they're a range six inch, grenade D6, strength three, AP zero, and a damage of one. Abilities, here we go, mob rule, daka daka daka. Pyromaniacs. If this unit destroys an enemy unit in the shooting phase, it automatically passes morale tests until the start of your next turn. That's quite nice. And then mechaniac. At the end of your movement phase, a spanner can repair a single friendly clan vehicle model within one inch. That unit, that model regains one lost wound. A model can only be repaired once per turn. So that's a little bonus if you take a spanner. Keywords, orc, infantry, and burner boys. So there you go, that is the burner boys. Quite a quick um, review for them. Uh, they're all right. Um, you know, you're best off getting them in close combat because of the weapon skill of three plus, because they get two attacks each, and also because their burner is AP minus two. You can shoot with them uh, to get 12 attacks, and you're going to hit with all those because they automatically hit. It's just whether you're going to wound for them. You know, you could get 12 attacks, or you could just get four. But it's nice that you uh, have a minimum of four attacks um, before you go in there and then with the uh, burner melee weapon you're going to have uh, another possible eight and the chances of uh, hitting other units in close combat with those uh, melee attacks is still pretty high at the weapon skill three plus i think they have lost a bit of their potency they're not as dangerous as they were before i would have liked them to have a, a damage of two or even an ap of minus three in uh, close combat i would like to see them upgraded in uh, ninth edition but what do you guys think of the models and the rules? Uh, please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. For Gork and Mork.